Have you ever wished you could easily bring video clips, audio, music from project to project? If you have, power bins are your answer. Today, we're gonna be talking about what are power bins? How do they work? What are some cool things we can do with power bins? And also, how do we back up power bins and restore them if we need to create a new database or want to move them to another machine or share them with somebody? Today's video is sponsored by Motion Array, so let's jump right into Resolve and start talking about power bin. Jumping into DaVinci Resolve here, currently in the edit tab, let's talk about what are power bins. Power bins are assets that will travel with you from project to project. We can put things into a bin, a power bin, and then we're gonna be able to see those assets, whether it's music, video clips, whatever it might be, we're gonna be able to see those assets in multiple projects, in every project actually, that is in our current database or your current project library. I still call it database, but I think they call it project library now. So by default, you cannot see your power bins. You need to enable them or turn them on. Here's how you do that. In our edit tab right here, in order to turn on our power bins, I'm currently in the media pool right here. If I come to the three little dots at the top right and we come down to show power bins, you can go ahead and click on that. And now we're gonna notice that our power bins appear over here in our media pool. So I'm just gonna click on my power bins to make that a little bit bigger here. Now your power bins start out with a master bin. And the way this works is you essentially just create bins for whatever you want. In my case, take a look here, I've got transition sound effects, end screens, music, sound effects, video media, and a bunch of other things here. You create the bin that you want and you can drag and drop any asset into the bin. So for example, I have my transition sound effects right here. If I click on it, now I see all of my transition sound effects that I have here that I can use in any one of my projects. And creating a new bin is as easy as right clicking on the master. We're gonna say add a new bin. It's gonna put a bin down here. We're gonna say new power bin. And when I click on it, you can see it's currently empty, but we can go ahead to our finder or explorer, find your files that you might wanna drag and drop in there. And it can even be files from DaVinci Resolve like text files or other things you might create in Resolve. You can drop it into a power bin so you can use it in multiple projects and access it really quickly and really easily. So one of the cool things that you can do here is you can actually just take a folder from your hard drive that maybe has a bunch of logos in it or sound effects or music and just drag and drop it right into the power bins and it's gonna put everything in there for you. Take a look at this. I've got a Blackmagic Design folder here that's got their logos in it for DaVinci Resolve and stuff. And all I'm gonna do is come and drop it right on my master power bin folder. Now, when you do that, you might notice that it actually adds it to your project, but I can then just click on it in my project and drop it into my power bin folder. And now we have our Blackmagic Design logos down here. And I can delete it out of my project because it doesn't need to live in my project anymore. It can just stay right down here in the power bins. And anytime I need the DaVinci Resolve logo, I can come to my power bin, grab it, use it, drop it in my project. So being able to just drag and drop a folder into the power bin saves a lot of time and work of having to sort through things and grab individual clips to drop them into a power bin. Just drag the whole folder in and you should be good to go. For me, some of the things I like to keep in power bins are my sound effects, my music, as well as overlays. I love those three items in power bins and I can access them in any project. And speaking of those three items, I get most of them from Motion Array. Motion Array has a ton of awesome stuff on their website. I love to look through at their overlays. There's so much cool stuff that you can add into your videos from little characters or on-screen uh, graphics, the cool different designs or things to use for end screens. Love all of the overlays that Motion Array has. I use them all the time in my videos and it really just helps bring your videos to that next level. Here's how I created a cool sequence with only Motion Array assets. I went to Motion Array, grabbed some video clips, some images, some music and sound effects, brought it into DaVinci Resolve and edited together a cool little video of a guy snowboarding and here's what it looked like I think that motion ray is something that might be helpful in your video workflow Hit up the link in the description below. You're gonna save some bucks by using my link and you can have access to everything that they have on their website. A lot of good stuff there. If I didn't like them and didn't use them, I wouldn't recommend them to you guys. So thank you Motion Rate for sponsoring today's video and being a long-term sponsor of my channel. Really appreciate you guys. And now let's get back to talking about our power bins. So one important thing to know about power bins is that they're not dynamically linked. So if you have a folder on your hard drive for all of your music, 
and you put that music into a power bin, it's not dynamically linked. So if we then went back and added more uh, music or sound effects to our folder on our hard drive, it's not gonna automatically be added into our power bins. So that's important to keep in mind. I think that would be awesome, Blackmagic, if you could make those like a dynamic link where we add stuff to the folder and boom, it appears there in our, uh, our power bins. Hopefully that's coming one day, but right now they're not dynamically linked. So you'd have to manually add in any new files that you have on your hard drive, add them manually into your power bins. Here's a cool tip on something that you can do with power bins. Check this out. If we came to, let's say our master and I were to right click on it, I can come down here and open as a new window. And if I do that now, I have a floating window with all of my power bins in there. I can throw it off on another screen if I want. I can uh, move it around on my screen. It doesn't have to stay here. I can actually come and close my media pool. And with my media pool closed, I can use my power bins. Now you can do this for any one of your bins. You can see we actually have them all right here. You can do it for your, your individual project, go through any of the bins that you want. Really cool that we can now pop out our media pool there or our bins and be able to work with them however we want. We can put them off to the side so that way you just have more real estate on your screen to uh, work with your timeline. Because if you're like me, I have a, you can't see it now, but I got a big wide screen here. So I've got plenty of real estate to work with my timeline and resolve on one side and then throw off the power bins on the other side and just drag and drop stuff into my timeline as I need. One thing you need to keep in mind about power bins is that they are only accessible in one particular project library or database, depends on what you call it. Project library, database, same thing. So let's talk about how we can export out our power bins for one, for backing them up. So if something ever happens, we can just reload our bins and it'll have everything in there for us. But also if we were to create a new database or a new project library, how can we take our power bins from our one library and bring it over to our new library? So in Resolve here, I'm just gonna go ahead and open up my media pool. We have our power bins showing right here. Now, in order to save or back up our power bins, all I have to do is come to my top level folder here, which is my master. I'm gonna right click on there and I'm gonna come down to export bin. Once you go to export bin, it's gonna ask you, where do you wanna save that? And in this case, you can see I do have one already saved. So I'll just save it as the same name. I'm gonna go ahead and hit save. I'm gonna replace it. And that's it. Now our power bins are backed up. If we ever need to restore them, we can do that. And if we wanted to add them into a new project library, we can use that file to do it. So let's change our project libraries and we're gonna load up our power bins. So I'm gonna come down to the project manager down here at the lower right. Now in here, I do have a few different databases. So let's go ahead and click on our Blackmagic Design Training. So we're in our new database. I'm just gonna close that. So I don't have any projects currently in here. We've got a blank project open, but if I wanted to add in the power bins to this project library, right now I've got my power bins open, right? Remember if you need to open your power bins right here, show power bins. I'm gonna come down to my power bins, right click on master and I'm gonna do import bin. Then I'm gonna navigate and find the file that I just exported right here, master power bins. I'm gonna say open. And now when I come in here into my master power bins, I'm gonna open that up. It's gonna give me the name of the original database that it came from, in my case, local database. And there's all of my power bins. They're all in here. So it makes it really easy to bring those power bins from project library to project library. And as long as your media is all in the same spot where it was when you originally exported that bin, that power bin, everything should link back up and you should be good to go. Now I should probably mention that you do have the ability to access your power bins in a few different tabs here in DaVinci Resolve. So we've been working in the edit tab right here, but you can jump over into Fairlight, open up your media pool, and you're gonna see your power bins right there. You can access them there if you need. In the color tab here, we can again, open up our media pool. We've got our power bins right here. And if you jump over into the media tab right here, we can also see our power bins right here. So if you're not using power bins yet, get in there, check them out, put your stuff in there so that way you can access it in projects easier. You don't have to recreate the wheel every time. You've got everything you need right there. Dump it in a power bin. I'm telling you, they work out awesome. I've been using them for a long time and uh, it's a great feature that they've got here in DaVinci Resolve. A big thank you to Motion Ray for sponsoring today's video. Get on there, check out the free account, get the freebies. And then if you like it and you want to try it out more, you want to pay for it, use the link in the description below. Check it out. You'll save a few bucks there by using my link. And a big thank you to Motion Ray for sponsoring today's video. And with that said, guys, use those power bins. I will see you in the next video. Peace.